Believe it or not, this is a difficult and potentially dangerous thing to make on the table saw. You can lose a finger real quick if you don't know what you're doing. That's the challenge posed to me by a viewer who needs several triangular strips for a project that he's making. Now, my first thought was to make it on the bandsaw. That would be a safer tool for the job. But he asked about the table saw, so that's what I'm going with. There are several potential problems with this cut. For one thing, anytime you cut a bevel by tilting your table saw blade, there's some chance of kickback. A riving knife or a splitter behind the blade will definitely help, but kickback is still possible, so keep your body out of the path of the cut. Now the first beveled edge isn't too bad, especially if you use a feather board set just ahead of the saw blade to help keep the wood against the fence. The problem is the second cut. As the material is removed, you're left with a point of the triangle as the workpiece is only support. This is a kickback waiting to happen, especially at the end of the cut when your pusher is directly over the blade and then you'll be pushing down on top of the tilted blade. There's a better way, two actually. The best way to make this cut is to just waste a little bit of wood. If possible, start with a wider board. Rip a bevel on one edge, flip it over, adjust the fence, and cut the second bevel while ripping the strip free from the board. You can cut several strips from a single board in this manner, but you're going to have to stop when it becomes too narrow, about two, two and a half inches, and that'll be waste material. Now what if you can't spare the wood? For example, this particular viewer had to cut two beveled edges on a strip of wood that was already just an inch and a half wide. Well, here's a way to do that. Cut the first beveled edge, being careful to keep the workpiece from rocking towards the blade. Unfortunately, it's unlikely you can do this with your blade guard in place, so be careful and use a narrow pusher. Now find a scrap of wood that's roughly the same length. Rip the same beveled edge on that board. Next, use some double-sided tape or even some hot melt glue to attach the beveled edge of your narrow strip to the beveled edge of the wider board. Now you can cut your second bevel safely, just as if it were part of that wider board. Remove it and you'll have your double beveled strip and your fingers right where they belong. Want to see something else interesting? Ridge Carbide is the best cut secret in woodworking. I kid you not, their saw blades are second to none, both in quality and performance, and they're less expensive than the other ultra premium brands. Do yourself a favor, use the link and the discount code below this video. You will never go back to cheap blades again.